No more vengeance. No more war. Welcome back to Delcast Gaming, this is Eric, and continuing this is episode 17, part 2. Uh, part 1, I did defeat Bahamut, unfortunately my, um, my, my recording stopped 10 minutes in, so I wasn't actually able to play that, or to show you all that part, unfortunately. Yeah.
I deserved to turn down more. We were more similar than he knew. I am Brosia. Alright guys, sorry about that. So yeah, I'm kind of playing through here and trying to do my hunts before I continue the story, the main story. I want to fight that for some reason. I don't yes, know. Sir! 
I'm Bill Fifthry! I got two leader and killed the champion! I'm broken with you, dude. Should be a big dragon over here somewhere. This could be difficult. Oh, and I don't have any of my potions. Oh, jeez, forgot to do the done. Uh, to give myself some more. Oh, dang, this is gonna be good. I got the spark. It's an S rank. This is gonna take a really long time, I guess. And with no potions, I need to just be on my best. Uh, let me see if I can at least. Let's see if I can trade for my... Oh dang, that sucks. I don't like that. Let's change that. Dude, I just won the last game, by the way, with 1,200 damage. Literally, my loadout was a P2020 and an Arthur. I need to, to increase my... Alright, so I can't do what I need to do, hey, that's I fine. Oh, I think... Sorry. Sorry. Don't have the battle pass? I need to be on my toes for this one. It's going to be a very difficult fight. I recommend actually saving up something that has like 12 attacks with it. I'd like the battle pass, but honestly, it's quite a battle pass. Look how much the health it has. Yeah, that thing is lucky. Like 
Killed me with one blow. It sucks. It's not funny. It's not funny, bro. I don't have any health on me though, so that's probably why I died. But before I do this this time, I'm gonna definitely. <laughs> what? Weirdo. Do you though? It doesn't sound like you do. Yeah, I'll play with what I know. I'm gonna remove. Sorry, that sucks for me, but I should be able to handle it this time. I got full potions, and so I should be off. Easy now. Easier. Like La Bamba. This is definitely a very tough mo uh, monster to defeat. Yeah, I changed my Bahamut back to Garuda just because I'm more powerful that way. I don't want to keep dying. I don't like the dragon. The Garuda it might be better. Or Bahamut. My Garuda is the one I'm was using. Bahamut. I thought would be more powerful with better weapons, but unfortunately that's not the case. So, um, one of my friends' name is Mo or Carson. We're over to his house tomorrow, and he has a friend. His sister has a friend named Raiden that he is not friends with. Dude is he's hit masters. He has a like a three K badge, but it was about to be a four K. Let's see if I can defeat this thing this and time. This man is a strength. I'm this boy is a star. But you wanna He got a two K badge with his mate. Wait, his mate has eleven thousand kills. 4 million damage and almost 500 points with one hit. I know, Frank Drake. And the thing, like earlier today, he got me a free win. Like, he got us in, uh, like, like, he was like, he was like, he was all fighting with the game. He was all just like, and then he got me a free win. So, I don't know what he died. He just made me a shooting at the floor bar. I'm going to 
Or did you punch me, Kill him? Yeah, I punched him while he was using his big one. Yeah. I was hitting it with my teammate because I used the first eight shots to kill the Austin and then I used the other eight shots to try to kill the um half one. Even the eight though, that thing kind of good though. That thing is that that's a good really good gun to start winning uh early games. Dude, I'm loving the cinematic because of this things. Like it's a smaller TV. But it's so much better. No, I need to be on the TV. I have Mana War. I have the other style of that. I don't remember it by the way. I don't know. Go into the room. This is a pretty good one. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, that's it. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go This dragon is tough as nails, my goodness. You need to have potions. I did have potions, but um, I forgot to take off that one thing that makes me the she makes me take my potions like too early. I need to trade that. Yeah, that's one I need to take off. I don't know why I well, took it off last time. It's totally even flushing. Defense. Increases healing. Defense. I need that one. Uh, hey, man, you're back. Come here. Come here, Ron. No. I was shooting random things at people. Like, uh, my things. I was burning. I got everything filled back up, I guess. Uh, third time's the charm, maybe? Alright, 
Okay, so now I shouldn't have to use my potions again like that. This has actually been the toughest fight. It wasn't even tougher than fighting Bahamut.
Gosh dang it. Third time is not the charm, dang nabbit. They probably need I just yeah, gotta avoid that. Big. Avoid somehow that big hit. Somehow. Why could it I mean if it's not a smurf smurf, it could have been the dude that oh you can have my evil over there. I just found a Pokemon. You can so like there was a dude who was like Alright, Chick, well, let's so get over there one more time. Come on. For a fourth time, maybe I can get him on the fourth time. Maybe I'll just have to come back another time because uh, maybe it's too powerful for me. I've never lost this many times. I've only lost like once. Uh, I'm losing four times. Or third, three times, about to be four. If I don't get something worked out here. Bro, look back. This dragon's gonna have to it's gonna have to die. Go. It has to die. Safe. There's another one, bye, bye, right there. It's a it's a rival. No. No, he's gonna do the same as before. 
She's gonna have better than she's going to have. Oh, 
gosh, I thought my cheeks broke for a second. It did this like a weird voyage. It was like, I don't know, it was like a weird voyage. Monster. It's not juicy, but okay. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. I'm on the most metal weapon right now. I told you. He's in a big battle. Huh? You have 27 followers. Right now? Yeah, or, yeah, or just I mean, they're not watching me, but they're in front of Oh, that's good. He's watching me, so. No, it showed up on my messaging out there. Yeah. Told me something about my son. Yeah. Oh, sheesh, I don't have no more health. Said, hey, I know you're still on the phone. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of people just kind of forget to follow or else to start. So, chat, today we're gonna. No, you have to. Oh, by the way, you know, usually it's your worst run for the game. Fair for me, though. Died. Oh my gosh, I was so close. Dag nabbit. I was so flipping close. <sighs> that was so close. I just gotta be more careful, I guess. Stella Scott, 6417. Huh? Scott, 6417. Stella Scott, 6417. Is that different? Um, Alright guys, I promise that I'm gonna try to beat this guy. I'm getting closer and closer every time I fight him. So hopefully the fifth time is a charm, right? We'll see. This is a long time to get through here too, so we'll see. Hey, you beat him. Huh? You 
beat the big guy? No, I didn't. Oh, you died again? I died with just a little bit of his health left, too. It's not funny. That's not funny. That is not funny. For being so phony. To watching my... That's a chocobo! Yeah, that's a chocobo. <laughs> He's called it a horse! It's a steed. It's a... Maybe he called it a horse, though. I mean... Why not? Alright, let's see if I can defeat him oh, this look time. Look how big it is. Try uh, having enough. Let's see if I can have some items that I can put on my thing. Can you hear me, Alright, let's see if I can defeat this thing this time. How dare you meet your bike as my beautiful voice with the golf club too? Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful voice with the golf club. Um, this is like, what, the fourth time you tried to do this one? This will be the fifth time. It's a tough fight, bro. Not easy at all. I'm just scared of your determination. I know, I know what I'm talking about. But he posted the videos on YouTube after. What happened? Uh, he posted this dead platform. A dead platform? Yeah. Why do you say that? You don't want to do that thing. I mean, I save my videos on YouTube, but I haven't been able to. Something's wrong with my my um, saving for some reason on my YouTube channel. I gotta figure out what's going on with it. I need help if you could. Kind of, kind of not. There's just like 500 kids down there. His health is so much, it's gonna do nothing to him. What the heck am I doing? Now he's about to get wrecked. Oh, 
Killed again, oh my gosh. You need shorts. Oh my gosh, this is really sucking for me. And I was being careful this time. I don't know if I should come back. I'll try one more time. Yeah, probably not. Let me actually go and get some potions and stuff. So I don't think. I just need to go get some more potions. Just collect some more potions and other stuff I need. Then I'll come back. This is really sucking for me. I don't 
damage. Totally forgot from, where I had to go. Or I didn't deal 90 damage. I've done a lot more damage than that. Because I knocked one kid. I hit a, like, I knocked one that was hiding from some other enemies, dude. Like, legit, knuckle clusters are insane, dude. Let's see how much damage I did. That's not it. I dealt 222 damage. Just with my knuckle clusters and punchy. Bro, he's trash! It's better! This is not 80 either. Where the heck was I? Yeah, some people, some YouTubers get comments from videos they've years ago. So that's where I was at. Okay, so now I know where I was at. I was over here. This should be it. We'll see in a second. Yeah, this is it. This is a perfect spot. Okay. Alright, so let's try this for the sixth time. I think if I can't beat him this point, I'm just going to start doing other things like other fights or continuing the story. I don't know. But definitely this dragon has been kicking my ass very hard. Two gill? All that for two gill? That sucks. Alright, so I have tonics, so I have everything I might need for now. Hey, person! Alright, here we go. Try to defeat this guy to. once again. Hopefully I can defeat him. I, I don't have Brahala on the PS4, plus it take a long time since I'm slightly glad. Now my dad plays Farm Fantasy 16 right now. I mean, I, yeah, I can try. Okay. I won't really be on tomorrow though. Do you still not know? Oh. This is going to be a long fight, so I might as well just See, take my time and try to avoid getting hit by this thing. And hit him whenever. Ah, I'm going to look at the 12 or something Oh, jeez. Yeah, I want to put it up there. Oh, okay. But what do you call it? Oh. No, we can't take all that. No, okay. Well, not right now. Alright. 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 I you're fine. I'm calling it off. Alright, so 
my time with this dragon and try to just beat him. Oh, they're right here. He's getting red from my point of view. Or he got red from my point of view. So he gets hit. Like a wrecking. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I was totally going to get out of this. Oh, this guy's about to get wrecked now. <laughs> Slap the Joker and kill him really quickly, as quickly as I can. But this Joker has a ton of life. I don't know, almost to half his health. Oh shoot! Other side. Just staggered one more time. It's getting close. So in study wins, wins this race, I think. Oh. 
Okay, so I'm got a little bit more of his health knocked off, so that's good. Just have to be slow and steady kills this mo mother, so as long as I continue slow and stride, I should be alright. I don't have to stagger him, but just no, keep hitting him slowly and I'm passionately, he, sh he should I'm fall. in my power. He's gonna die with this? I don't know. I I had more I had more in my bag. I I think it's Bag. Oh, 
Yes, I defeated him after six tries. <laughs> Jeez, that was a tough monster build. Look how many experience I got 25,000 points. That has no name anymore. It doesn't have a name anymore. The books, the the library, one next to the library. It's right. It, it's right next to a library on the left. Like the library is on the left. I don't remember what the other one was. See, why did you do that a couple times? But I memorized it because. It, they had my favorite like stuff, so I, I was like, I memorized it. But if you do, you should invite me. Usually for my birthdays, I, it's either I'll do a sleepover, that was like when I was a lot younger, and then um, Jeez, once, that was a I tough one. almost broke my back. Crafting. So basically at my house, like it was just, we were having a sleepover. Yeah. Over, right? I just didn't want a sleepover. Oh, I just got shot at that one. This is a big dragon. Oh, it disappeared too. Alright, so... That being said, I do have to come over here anyway, so I might as well just come on and... Oh, yeah, looks like you're trapped. You want to bush? You want to bush? I think I need a soda pop after that. So give me a second and give myself a drink, and I will be right back to continue. Oh, sheesh. Really? Chips? Hey, person. Ouch. Ah, I see them. He's, he's, he's held up in that little corner. I popped down a knuckle cluster in there. To the side, to the side, to the behind, behind, behind. Here, retreat in there, retreat in there. More? He's dead. There's four kids left, dude. Mark. Oh, he's already dead. Dude, oh, my name's dead. Oh, he killed me. Can you kill him? Dude? He's right here. He's right here. You gotta hurry up. It's either res or fight. Just come here and res, dude. Here, I'll tell you. Wait, wait, right there, right there. He's trying to push me up. Fake res, fake res, fake res. Dude, just fake res. Dude, he's healing. Dude, come here. Dude, we have 28 seconds. It's either res or fight. Come on, dude. Zone if you don't rise me now. Nathaniel, just rise. Please. 
care pot fi respectat. Mulțumesc, Jamba. Friends, just friends. Friends! Don't friends! Just friends! What happened? Oh, the TV. Oh, now we're dead. No. I see you alive still. No, we're dead because he didn't res. Who didn't res? The other team. teammate? Was he one of your friends or just? Yes. Stupid. He res. Maybe you couldn't. He could. He was just like I told him to either fake res or res. Fake res. It's where you fake your res. It's like you start resing and then once they like once you fake them towards you, you can jump up and start killing them. Oh. I yeah, see. I did. Did you tell that to the person or no? I just did, huh? Did, did you tell that to that person? Yes. <laughs> well, the way you were saying it, like, stupid. Yes. That's messed up, bro. You can say that you're friends like that. It's not nice. Well, maybe you shouldn't, like, listen to my, maybe you shouldn't listen to my advice. I gotta do something here, man. I can't stand No, he's just muted with my Hey, can I trade you spots there? The, you mean, the chair? Do you mean, bro? Move the chair over there in front of you on the other side. I can't. Just like, I can't. Uh, just this way. Push that that way. Oh, there you go. No, not, or not yet. First of all, you need to get warmed up. Hold on, you're probably going to do Wait, wait. Hold on. on. There you go. Now push it over there. No, oh. I can't see you. Now I can't see you. No. You're not understanding. Hey, okay. Yeah, that's, that's good. What, what are you want? Are you feet on it? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Good. You good? Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> it's a struggle, you say? Yo, everything is a struggle. Oh my goodness gracious. That was weird. Just talk to Oh, sure. There you go. Sorry, guys. I'm almost going to come on. Just give me a second. movie. It was alright. Oh yeah, have you watched the Barbie movie? Oh, you should watch it. It's actually pretty good. I didn't want to go originally, but then I got outvoted. <laughs> so then we went, and I was really sad. But then as soon as we started watching it, it was really funny. Gainesville. Right here. Yeah, we got the good seats. Recliner. It did. It really did. Well, it's it's like it's the message was mainly for guys, but and slightly women, in, like encouraging women, and then kind of like bash guys a bit. Not gonna lie. I'm a flame, look at me. Why am I on fire? I'm a real man. <laughs> oh, it went away. That was weird. I've never seen that before.
Apparently Nathaniel's Mirage clone stole his girlfriend. Kid. Stop. I finished them. But we have his teammate on us. Here, Nathaniel, can you defend while we do? Uh, they have a fuse. Why does that man's thing last so long? Mm -hmm. That is weird. If I hit him 10, here. Got him? Got him. Pikeman, yes? 
What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. I assume you have a plan? We need to find out. It was all they could do to escape. Ready, go. See them with me. Yeah! <laughs> 
Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. It's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. It's a dangerous world out there. Better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Be. 
feel bad if I do say so myself. should do you. Not my best work, but it'll do. Trouble with your gear, or what do you want? Anything else?
see the pair that got pulled into time? Quick look. Martha, it's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. These men don't have the look of hired swords.
if you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wait, men. But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. They were too fast. Or maybe I was too slow. What are you after? There you go. Thanks very much. Very well. Mad dogs. Squire, 
I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck.
Just punch me up. Run like the wind. They're headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Martha and the others won't be ready. Something's coming. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, Sir Wade. Shall we? Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? 
A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that... Of course they can stay. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother... My father did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. Not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that, uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way! Sid, your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Should I be worried? Ah, uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. You're stolen. Indeed, although you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've 
yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the Desert Hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Hmm. She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Haven't we had enough fighting? I know I bloody well have. The next time those two go for each other's throats. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here... I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnis. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime... Perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes.
So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? What he means to say is yes. Picture it, Conrad. Ah, here she is. The Lady of the Spear herself. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few... Better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you, yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady.